President, for 11 years in this House, I've been protesting about the common fisheries policy's negative impacts on my home country. The United Kingdom had 65% of the fish stocks under international law covered by the CFP in North Sea waters, but we were allocated a quarter, uh, uh, 25% by volume or 15% by value under the quota system. You know, that argument is becoming academic because the fish have effectively disappeared. Even in the time that I've been in this house, there's been a calamitous decline in what ought to have been a renewable resource. In other countries, which found a way to incentivize ownership to give the fishermen a reason to treat the seas as a renewable harvest, they managed to sustain their fish levels in Iceland, in Norway, in New Zealand, in the Falkland Islands. But in Europe, we had the tragedy of the commons, where we said it's a common resource to which all vessels had equal access. And you cannot persuade a skipper to tie up his boat when he knows that the waters are being plundered by someone else. As I say, the argument is now effectively academic. It's over. Our boats are grounded. Our fishing ports are sterile. Our oceans are empty.